in previous session we uh, created the uh, table now we see how we can define the foreign key for the requester attribute in this table as you know that so we have a keyword or maybe we have an annotation called with foreign key okay so you have to place the cursor after the data element or maybe after your data type definition and put your control space which has this with foreign key and then you have to provide the you know how you want to validate the foreign key relationship since we know that so it's a system username field so the relationship can be validated against these user table in sap and so we have to check we have to check the what is the corresponding user table in sap so we i know that user table is usr01 so i'm typing it directly if you want to verify it take the table name and go back to sap gui open se 11 and put the table on the first option database table display so this is a user master record in sap so you can see this is a fields are available here let's uh, come back to the uh, eclipse and then you have to provide the condition to validate against this table so where we have an option as a where condition to define the condition then you can say the field how you want to compare the condition record so first thing you have to ensure that in the same client so we know the system attribute to verify it so make sure that you always keep the dot after the system structure sost mndt second condition on the user field from this table so let's go and check the table attribute okay yeah this is a field from this table we want to have a rela relationship to be defined and let's say b name equal to and then our table with the corresponding requester dot requester yes okay so it says some error you can see here so foreign key the requester and the b name point the different domain names okay yeah so that is a first you know, contract for, to make sure that when you define a foreign key between two attributes or two tables so let's go and check this what is a domain type of this one yes copy this x u b name to our attribute definition of the table let's put that once you put it you can see so you, you can see this is a single statement for the attribute definition so the definition is end end here okay so this is entirely one definition for the attribute so now we don't have any issue let's save the definition our table definition and do the check looks fine and do the activation